Back to the beginning of Blue Sky Riders, when Gary and I first fell in love, and uh, that's, a different, that's a different story, so. And um, we decided to be a band. Uh, we were writing and, and singing together for a record that I made for Target. And in the process, I said, you know, if this was 20 years ago, we'd start a band, because this is too much fun. I, I had to point out, if it was 20 years ago, I would have been 11. <laughs> it's a big laugh. That's, a big laugh. <laughs> That's cruel. <laughs> so uh, we talked about it for a while, and uh, then I called him one day, and I said, you know, I think, I think I'm serious about that. I think we really should start a band. But I think we need a third. We need a, a girl, strong female singer, songwriter, especially songwriter, who's a great singer and she's hot. And <laughs> we happened to be on a date with her at the time. Was That's she right. available for the band though? She, she was uh, right next to me. I'm, um, if nothing else, I thoroughly vetted everyone that I knew that was sitting within three feet of me and I said, how would you? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Actually, I was thrilled with that because, you know, when he first said, let's do a duo album, I'm figuring, you know, it's going to be nothing but comparisons, you know, to, to Seals and Cross. <laughs> <laughs> so, I turned to Georgia on a date and I said, uh, Save me, Georgia. <laughs> I said, yeah. I, said uh, I, I know it's, it's early in the relationship, but how would you like to uh, be in a band with Kenny Loggins and... They're so cute at this age, she, you know, she immediately said, Oh my God, the gambler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I love Kenny Rogers and I thought that too. <laughs> but I, I called my mom, she was like, Georgia, Kenny Loggins, Pooh Corner, Danny Sun, like, oh my God, he's good too. <laughs> So she agreed to be in the band, and uh, and then what? Well, you can't. You, uh, you 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 got yes, excited. Well, you know, uh, you now, now that I'm in no danger of getting a big head over this uh, particular situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I flew to Nashville to meet Georgia, and the three of us sat together. Within an, an hour, we wrote our first song together and decided we were going to be a band. I, I flew back to Santa Barbara, where I'm from, and I called a buddy of mine up. Uh, who's been a music advisor of mine for many years. And I said, I'm really excited. I, I, we started a new band. And he said, Kenny, I think not. <laughs> at, at your age, you should really uh, think twice. You're really too old to start over. And you should consider retiring. <laughs> not a good advisor. <laughs> Let's bring him up right now, ladies and gentlemen. Who's got the road? <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, but it kind of knocked my wind down. I haven't heard that particular uh, message before. At your age, that's dangerous, too. You know, I've your wind down. That's what he's trying to tell me. And uh, so, you know, I texted Georgia, too old to dream. And when she got the text, uh, she called me up and said, what's going on? And I said, well, uh, I just had the sense beat into me. And she said, what, what does your heart tell you? And I, I thought about it. And, you know, I have never actually done the rational thing in my career, ever. And this is not a good time to start, you know, to keep, follow your heart and go where the fun is, right? So whether it makes sense or not, and these two definitely don't make any sense to me. No. <laughs> so I flew to Nashville. And when I got there, George had taken that line, too old to dream and turned it into the chorus of this next song. So this is kind of our theme song, a song called Dream.
Yeah, dance to me.